everybody, Jason here, and today on Ghostbusters News, we're going to be unboxing an item that I've been wanting to feature here on the channel for, well, a couple of years now, as we're going to be taking a look at Hasbro's Ghostbusters Afterlife RC RTV Ghost Trap. Now this toy, it was released, or should I say it escaped, back in the summer of 2021. And the reason I say escaped is because this ghost trap, it received a very limited release. Now I do want to send a huge thank you out to Jim Maritato of the Extra Plasm Podcast. Jim, he's been a longtime friend of the channel, and if you've not checked out Extra Plasm Podcast, be sure to do so. We have a link to it down below in this video's description. But yeah, in the most recent episode of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail, Jim, he sent in one of these RC RTV ghost traps. And truth be told, this is one of two of these ghost traps that I have in my collection. The other I received back in 2021, thanks to Brent Hullingsworth of the Arizona and Buffalo Ghostbusters. But being at that time, we were already given a pretty good indicator that these were gonna be pretty rare. I kept mine mint in box. Now I know a lot of you out there, you're scratching your heads, you're questioning me, Jason, what makes these RC RTV ghost traps so rare? Well, at first, these were supposed to get pretty much a mass retail release, meaning, much like all the other Ghostbusters Afterlife toys, you should have been able to go into like a Walmart or a Target and easily find these, but um, yeah, that, that wasn't the case. They were pretty much just regulated to mom and pop shops, and also some blink and you'll miss it online listings, namely GameStop.com and also Fun.com. And that one RC RTV ghost trap that I have back here in my collection, that one did come from GameStop.com. They also appeared on the online web store Pop Culture, as well as surprisingly earlier this year, back in January, pre-orders from Amazon, pre-orders that took place back in August again of 2021, they were finally fulfilled, which means that these were just kind of like sitting on a pallet somewhere for like a year, a year and a half? Now, for anyone out there that you were like me trying to buy all of Hasbro's Ghostbusters Afterlife collectibles, you no doubt already know that in addition to the ghost trap, there was a few other items that were pretty hard to track down or at the very least received a highly limited or a non-nationwide retail release. This included collectibles like the Ghost Gushers, the Slime Lab, and given that toy slime after a while, it typically begins to break down. It makes sense as to why some of these items, they weren't made widely available because there was probably some quality control issues, being that Ghostbusters Afterlife, it was delayed a number of times because of COVID-19. But this isn't slime, this is really just an RC car. I mean, what would cause this not to get a wide release? What would cause this to be so rare? Well, the common belief is what you're looking at right here. One of the trap's key features, which includes a rather unique take on the ghost muncher. You see, while you're driving this ghost trap around, Muncher, he's supposed to pop out of the top of it. And when this toy was first revealed online, some people, they mentioned that the afterlife newcomer, he looks slightly like, um, um... How, how do I say this? He, he, he looks a little phallic. Now Hasbro, they have never confirmed nor denied that the look of Muncher was the reason for, um, yeah, the limited availability of this ghost trap. All we have to go on is just chatter amongst the Ghostbusters fan community and uh, some, some questionable Muncher memes. So let's go ahead and see what all the talk, all the fuss was about. Let's get this thing unboxed. And uh, opening the box here, it reveals that I've got a bit of a small build ahead of me. As we got the main body of the ghost trap, the RC controller there, the caution stripe doors, we have muncher there, and also a few small attachments. And seeing that it's such a nice day outside, I really don't want to waste it in here and, you know, drive muncher around the collection room. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead, head outside and build this thing. Now the first pieces we're gonna go ahead and connect here are these small little lights. Well, they're not really lights, they're just hunks of plastic, but they're meant to be the RTV's lights. They easily attach to the trap's front end, and then from there, we got Muncher. I guess some would say kind of a questionable take on the apparition. He's got his mouth open, his arms up, and he just snaps right into the ghost trap. Attaching the doors, that's easy enough as each feature unique grooves that just snap right into place. And then the last piece here is the handle, which much like everything else, again, snaps into place. Now looking at the detail of the RTV, I should start off by saying that this is meant to be a child's toy. 
So do not expect HasLab Proton Pack levels of accuracy here. But with that said, it does include some pretty nice details, including appropriate looking dials, a slightly metallic finish on the two side plates. And overall, while simple, I mean, it gets the job done. This does look like a little blue ghost trap. And speaking of it being blue, I love the fact that Hasbro here, they opted to use the old Kinner style blue for pretty much all of their afterlife cosplay toys. Now moving on to the RC controller, while at first glance, there's a lot of buttons here, uh, there's actually only one. And that's this one here to move the RTV forwards and backwards. The red button up top here, it does nothing. The silver buttons on the left hand side, they're only for show. And when driving the ghost trap in reverse, you're gonna hear muncher noises come from the controller. In fact, here's a few of them here. So I've been waiting nearly two years for this. Let's run some red lights. Now, being that the Metal Devouring Muncher, it has been unleashed here and he's standing at attention, I gotta ask, what do you think of this sculpt? You think it looks a little suggestive or do you think it just looks like Muncher? And being that we do have the Ghost Trap open here, I should add that on the inside, we've got some extra sculpted details of Muncher's one and only food group, that being metal. So Ghostbusters fans, that does it for our long overdue look at the Hasbro Ghostbusters Afterlife RC RTV Ghost Trap. Again, a huge thank you goes out to Jim Meritato of the Extra Plasm Podcast for sending this one along to the Ghostbusters News Headquarters, as well another thank you to Brent Hollingsworth of the Arizona and Buffalo Ghostbusters for, uh, you know, hooking me up with my, my original one that's back there in the collection. If I didn't have that one, there is no way I would have ever opened this one. So guys, as always, be sure to subscribe right here to Ghostbusters News if you haven't done so already. If you'd like to join up with us, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below in this video's description. And we'll see you right back here next time. What do you do when the ghost is busted? Is it the source universally trusted? If you got a case of Ghostbusters blues, the cure for sure is Ghostbusters News. Since the guy who's doing the heavy lifting Through rumors and gossip he does all of the sifting Reporting and sorting, only the truth he is dishing Cause he himself is a full torso vaporous apparition What do you do when the ghost has been busted? Visit the source, universally trusted